Now, the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back, shaping up to be a very pleasant evening here in the coastal band. If you thought the moon was shining brightly tonight, you are absolutely correct. We've got a super moon. It's going to be full moon tomorrow morning, but too much cloud cover across the area. Now during a super moon or the December super moon, which they call a full cold moon, uh, the uh, Moon is going to appear about 30% brighter and about 14% larger. And if you've been outside, you probably agree with that. Temperature still pretty warm outside with a little bit of that cloud cover rolling in. 72 degrees. Winds are out of the east at 13 miles per hour. Was warm today. We made it up to 81 degrees. That's 10 degrees above normal. However, the morning low, that was right on track with 51 degrees. Other temperatures around the area, 70 degrees in Rockport. Still holding on to 80 degrees in George West. Alice is at 76. Kingsville, about 75 degrees. Winds are out of the east at about 10 10 to 15 miles per hour and as we move into early tomorrow morning they're going to taper off and that's going to allow for a little bit more fog formation probably not quite as thick as we saw this morning then a little breezier as we move into Sunday afternoon but as far as the beach and boating forecast that looks pretty good for your Sunday with the exception we're not going to see nearly as much sunshine and maybe a few isolated showers our bays are going to be mostly smooth our Gulf Sea is still only running right around two to three feet. Now you can see some of that moisture streaming in from the Gulf and coming in from the West, and that's why we're probably not going to see much of the moon early tomorrow morning, but uh, we are going to see increasing moisture the next couple of days. And that means we're going to see cloudy skies, maybe a few isolated showers on and off for both Sunday and Monday, and that's because we have some moisture coming in from the Pacific, but the uh, future tracker indicating on a few isolated showers as we move into Sunday, a little better chance of some shower activity as we move into Monday. Then look what happens as we go into Tuesday. A very strong cold front is going to blow in and some showers and thunderstorms much more possible with that. And considering we're about three and a half inches below normal for the rainfall, I think a lot of people will welcome some of that wet weather. It's the windy and cold conditions that uh, may impact us the most. Now this storm storm system right now across parts of the Pacific Northwest, bringing the rain and snow there. And as it pushes eastward, it's going to open the door for some very cold air to drop in from Canada. You can see most of the south still pretty warm right now, 82 degrees over in Phoenix. But that really chilly air is going to impact the central United States and much of the east coast. Here's a look at our forecast, though, for tonight. Looking for mostly cloudy skies, maybe a stray shower. An overnight low of 66 degrees tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a shower possible. Look for a high temperature still right around 81 degrees. And we may even get up to about 83 degrees on Monday. Then that cold front blast in windy conditions, high temperatures only in the 50s with overnight lows in the 40s. We will see a gradual warm up. However, as we get closer to next weekend, that's a look at your weather.